Hawks. And Karen Peterson has played beautifully. On the outer wing, kicks to a two on one. And the mark's been paid at the back to Mia Austin. Looks in board and just carefully got in this last minute is their time for the ruse. Craven caught from behind. Ruse get a quick reply here. Flicked back. That was clever, although in the end, flicks back to her own. 50. Where's Vessio? Bit to be done here for the Blues to get out. They squeeze the kick to the outer wing, and now they'll get some sort of relief. But heavy lifting of plenty there from the Carlton defence who attested. Just flicked out there to Delpos. Maneuvers the ball. Knife this. Goran over. Tapped the hand pass. It wasn't effective enough for Smith, who was then closed down. Involved again. McWilliams creates the spill. Vessio, they kick towards the teeth of goal. And the mark's taken strongly by Austin. Austin for her third AFLW major. The weekend of blue heaven continues in the West. Lib Carlton continually breaching the Eagles inside 30. Yeah, it's just been a magnificent start to this quarter for Carlton. And it's the ability of Vickers and Skepper to drive their legs, gain five. Moody as well. Great field kicking from McWilliams. We found Moody, we found Austin, who had a thought. Plunked the first Kicked couple. The third of their goals in the second quarter to this end. Austin, the third blue with a pair this afternoon. Great kicking inside 50. She's got a long boot on her, and Austin knew that. And that's the connection that you build at training between your players, knowing exactly how far your player can kick and position. Austin. Well done by McKay. Wheels around. Great vision. And Mia Austin eventually. Probably, probably blaze away and get it in your Ford 50 even to create a stoppage. The promising teenager. This kick will really test her. Sends it on its way. It doesn't test her at all. She's a player of the future. Mia Austin. Really great set shot there from Mia Austin as well. 19 years of age from Montrose. Eastman, so Mia Austin who kicked the last goal in the contest. Gates open at 4.30, it's all sold out. And it's a nice mark from Mia Austin. Mia Austin for her second. It'll be too little, too late. The Blues were brave. Kicks into space. Heads first to meet it for the Swans. Tackled as she kicked it and it is a turnover. Ball inside forward 50, heads. Didn't get a kind bounce. McAvoy. Oh no, she might have coughed it up here to Moody, who jams it on the boot towards goal and squeeze. Of Dow Post, but it's still going to work out here for the Blues as Hill snaps towards goal. And Mia Austin can run into an open goal and kick. Just anticipating the play, worked really hard to affect the, the intercept. Was able to bring the ball to ground. Some really clean hands through the middle of the ground. Got it inside 50 to the loose one out the back. And the Skepper hooks it around the corner. A tumbling kick inside forward 50 to get in Austin. And now heads. Austin got her. Her target knocked away from her. Can she get boot to ball? Maybe a chance for Austin. She can tumble it through. She's got a couple. Managed to put the ball through the big sticks and take a really healthy lead into half time. Probably a minute to go, considering a forward. Del Poss makes the contest. Zagetti held up. Yes. They come. Austin shrugged the tackle, dished it off. Thrown on the boot by McKay. Yeah, well, we thought they were going to come out pretty hard just because the comments from Berkey, so... Gorham getting there first for the Bulldogs. She's taken strongly in a tackle. End over end. Brown used her body well. Receives the hand pass from Edmonds. Caught, gave it up. Hill Walker kicked the first AFLW goal tonight, and here she shares it with Austin, who's been kicking goals... No real angle, no real problem. The Blues are kicking away. Austin held that front spot really, really well. Read it earlier than her defender. Seventh goal scorer from the Blues now. They're, they're having lots of avenues to goal. Back to where it came from. 
Skep it to the wing, Austin Marks on a chest. Carlton 4-2 on the season. Sidestep from Lalawifi was neat. The kick needs to be similar, and it is. Occasion, Moody Marks and Q foot race. Brazzle, who might have hurt something on that occasion, because Austin's left her own devices, so to speak. She was trying to work back against Mayor Austin. Shearer, meanwhile, towards the square. Austin got it. Melbourne's East, a product of Churnside Park, Montrose, and then the Eastern Rangers. Carlton have a long-awaited major in Indigenous rounds. Mayor Austin was able to be part of setting things up and in the end took advantage of being of the day. The former Ruin Tiger will wedge this up. Morris, player in front. Rightly so. Turns it over. Mick Williams having some moments here in the third. Into the hands of Austin. Now Mimi Hill track. Top of the clearances in the open in a few minutes. You might hear a few aeroplanes going over here. For some support in Mimi Hill. Run to half forward and look to hit a target inside 50. He's a, a real star in the making, I reckon. Let's see what she can do here on the approach. Shoots towards goal. That's a lovely finish. Blues hit back and get the lead. Great start for the Blue. Mim Hill, who got forward to the contest, and then just a real goes back and slots it in a really important goal for the Blues. You do get a bit of cover, kicking it at left of the screws because of the mound, the, the hill at the at the back of the goal. Releases McKay, who delivers it on a platter. Already got a goal in the second quarter. And this to regain the lead. It's home. Blues back in front. Being the, the star of the show for the Blues throughout the clear the, the first goal and then pushes forward from the contest really cleverly and it just lost her opponent in traffic and was able to be the, the free player that created the link for the Blues to be able to use that ball and get inside forward 50 effectively. Giants, they're matching it up and putting pressure on the Giants. He's couldn't complete the mark, picked up by Skepper, he sends it inside 50 and Austin's got it again. Cam, but it is the Blues out of the middle who go forward again. Sun's got up last night against the Giants. Insurance a dint in this scoreboard. Little moments could be big moments. Bush did really well. Back to Hill, up to half forward. Near Austin presents the Rising Star nominee of round eight. Kicks it in the pocket. Harriet Cordner! Out these games. Get some reward for effort. Well, that's what they're doing. 24 to 5. Hamble receives this last quarter. I mean, they've got busy. They, got, they went to work. After how Icon Park grandstands, voices of a former era. Hill's fifth touch. Mark kicked two goals on four occasions. They start the day in 11th place on the ladder. Mia Austin with the perfect start for the Baggers. Ball from McKay out in front to Austin's advantage and she really protected that drop zone really well. Just seeing an emerging key forward of the competition really find some confidence. Six. Austin and playing in the one-on-one. -on -one. The smaller playing to the back. Austin wins the day. Got them to be a factor on the shape of the finals. Stevens taken to ground after receiving from Burke. Priest under siege from an 